Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lorraine and Gary and I post here on my YouTube channel every Monday and Saturday. Alright you guys, if you guys are new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and that bell button. I'll we'll notify you guys every time I post a new video. I like to do a lot of videos that I'm able to review products for you guys because I love to be able to find the next best, best thing for myself and for you guys so you guys don't have to waste any of your money. And I just really enjoy doing different types of techniques and whatnot. So today what I am doing is the set. I am using these natural full cover tips from Montage and I am also using their extra long tapered square tips. These are very, very nice. Um, these are, are very, very long as well. I am, if you guys might be able to see that I am not gluing all the way down, you might be able to see that there is not a ton of glue on the tip but the reason being is because if I were to press all the way all the way down they would actually angle down on a person I would not do this but since it is the doll hand I want to minimize the amount of filing as much as possible just because otherwise with these tips they just want to angle down the next thing we are going to get is the medium sanding grip bands these are from Metacore these are really really good bands I am able to get through the whole set of the nails with using these and not having to feel like I need to replace my band once I get to the next hand um, there's been bands and files that I've surprisingly been using and a lot of files actually do that so definitely when you are getting files I know it sucks having to pay good money for an expensive file but I promise you guys you will thank yourself because I would always try to get the cheapest files and I would find myself having to replace three of them in one service so this helps save me a lot so I definitely recommend this brand if I could find cheaper alternatives I will definitely do so and right here I am just blending the tip and making sure those corners of the tip aren't going to be sticking out at all while I am doing colored acrylic over it and then right here I got these foils. These are from Montage. They have a ton of these. They have lace ones. They just have a whole bunch. <laughs> so definitely if you guys are in the area, definitely check out their in-store location because they have amazing things. But now I'm going to go ahead and get my swatches and kind of compare them. I thought I was going to just do that orange color, but I was like, you know what? Let's go ahead and do them all. <laughs> but yeah, so I am going to be getting the foil gel. I In the last clip, I did show you there is the two foil gels that I would recommend. Montage is a really good one, and Gel Lexar is a really, really good one as well. And then you're just going to want to put it straight over the tip. You don't want to keep, you don't want this to be very, very thick when you apply it. So if you find that there is an excess amount of it, I definitely recommend going in with your brush and brushing over it. And just to get rid of some of that product. Alright, and then once you are done with this, put it in the light for 30 seconds. Every gel that is a foil gel, it does vary, so definitely recommend looking at the times on the back of the bottle um, and stick with that time because if you end up doing any more or any less it will not come out right if you do it more it will end up being not tacky enough where it allows the foil to adhere to it so definitely do the time that it recommends you might have to play around with it depending it on the light you have I have the QR sky lamp and I also have the artistic lamp and I feel like both lights they cured them the, the way that they need to be cured. I do feel like cheaper lights sometimes you might feel like the product might not be working but sometimes it might just be your lamp not allowing the product to cure correctly. And then of course with this product you're really going to want to make sure you really rub it in there making sure that there is no um, like you guys could kind of see if there is any bubbles in it but go over it and keep rubbing and rubbing and rubbing so you guys could get a seamless application
And another thing I definitely recommend when you are using foil gel to actually, what, right after you're done curing it, apply your foils just because if not, sometimes if your guys' clients move a lot or they touch their hair or touch their face, again, that will not make the, the foil gel as tacky as what you need it to apply these foils. And you might feel like the product's not working and again, it is just people touching things and doing everything and you really want the most seamless application as you can get. So definitely, 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 definitely recommend covering them with the foil right after they're out of the light. Don't wait because even just waiting, even if they have their hand just on the desk, you guys could tell that like it's not, like it'll come off in patches. And then you guys could see how seamless that these do come out. And if you guys feel like a certain part is lifting, recommend pushing it back down and pulling it back off. And see, there is nothing left behind you guys. I love this foil gel. And see, you guys could see me going back in and dabbing a spot that maybe I needed. And honestly, you guys, doing this method, I feel like cut down so much of my time instead of having to get a whole bunch of product and bring it out. Just because I feel like with doing ombres, a lot of times I feel like I do waste a lot of monomer when it comes down to it. So yeah, doing this is actually great. It's faster. It's less product. So, and I feel like your clients would love doing this even you guys could get other foil transfer papers I've seen people do the Dior ones or Chanel ones and they just encapsulate it and it looks so pretty but again if you are a client watching this you this is something that you have to get encapsulated and then I'm just gonna go ahead and put a top coat the reason why you put a top coat is because if you don't the monomer will just eat up the paper and because the paper it's kind of like a plastic printed type thing so we'll kind of just make it to where it doesn't look like um, how do I say it? like the print just won't look as seamless it'll end up messing it up and all sorts of things so definitely put a top coat and then go ahead and cure that for 30 seconds and then you're gonna get your brush this is montage's new brush that they just came out with you guys and this brush is so pretty I love it. I ended up getting it in size 12. I really like the size 12 brushes just because it really allows me to get in the cuticle area and working with small beads at a time, especially if it's something that is more detailed like this. If I am going in and I'm just trying to cover the whole entire nail with one bead of acrylic, Definitely recommend sizing up in your brush, but for something like this, I definitely really, really enjoy having it smaller just because you guys can see I could get super, super close into the cuticle without um, letting the acrylic flow into the cuticle. And when you are laying this, once you guys blend it in i recommend putting your brush as flat to the nail as possible and swiping down i feel like that helps give me the best blend
fact I am done with that I'm gonna go ahead and just finish up the last one then I am going to be getting clear <laughs> you guys might be like what the heck learn it you're using all montage um and pretty much I am the only thing that I am using is my holy grail monomer from young nails I love this stuff recently you guys do know that I did try not polish this brand and their monomer is actually really really good as well definitely recommend trying out both to see what you like especially if you're a beginner nail tech definitely recommend trying out different monomers to see what kind of texture you like working with but when I had first started I had started out with young nails because I do feel like it was a quicker dry time it wasn't things running all over the place but you even though you might feel like it runs a little bit more um, especially if you're new to nails I feel like getting that perfect consistency is really really hard to learn but once you get it down I promise you guys it will be it will make your job so much easier now I'm just gonna go ahead and get Montage's clear acrylic and this stuff is bomb you guys so something that I had learned just recently actually because I was I was being driven crazy because I tried to do clear nails and you guys as much as I tried to do clear nails for whatever reason they fog so much even if I do have a clear batch or a, a, a brand new thing of monomer they still end up being super foggy and bubbly so what I have learned is put your brush all the way down to the bottom of your monomer and wait until there is no bubbles coming up to the surface and then you want your bead of acrylic to be fairly wet when you are applying beads of acrylic and you don't want to tap as much if I was doing a, a crystal clear nail I think even in this video how much I am tapping I don't feel like it is it would have been super super clear but it was clear enough so you could still see the design in the back so when you guys are doing this try to tap a little bit less and keep your brush super super wet <laughs> and that will help you guys so much I feel like there was no bubbles in these nails whatsoever so definitely recommend checking out nails nails because she really really went in depth for the tutorial um, and I think later on once I master it I will be doing a video to try to show you guys maybe tips and tricks that help me that um, I didn't see in the video but yeah you guys definitely recommend checking out her video if you guys need me to tag you in it, I definitely will because she is an amazing nail tech. You guys might already know her because she has her brand and stuff that she um, she promotes on her YouTube channel. But she is definitely an amazing nail artist. When you guys are doing your nails too, you want to make sure that you are patting with the belly of the brush. The belly of the brush, you guys um, will see it kind of bubbles out more and that's what you want to pat the, with your nail with. If you end up patting it with the very tip of your nail, you might end up finding that the tip of the brush will make your nails very, very lumpy. And then going across the sides of the nail as well will help maintain your shape as you are applying the acrylic. So you guys can see that I kind of go along the sides. making sure I build up that apex and making sure that the nail is nice and strong.
guys, I allowed that to dry and what you are going to want to do to make sure it is dry is just tap the nail a couple of times and you guys will be able to feel and hear the difference between a dry nail and a wet nail. So that's usually how I am able to tell whether or not if they're dry and they're ready to file. And this file that I am using, it is new. This was one that I had told you guys about in one of my last videos, nailed by Samantha. She is an amazing nail artist. She has, I had actually was chit-chatting with her and she had recommended these files when I had asked her about shaping and what she does to get the most crisp shape. And she said that these files were really, really bomb. So I had to get my hands on these and try them out. These, again, I did end up getting at Montage, but I don't think they have them online. I think this is just an in-store item. file up the nails and making sure that there is no divots in the nail making sure that I am able to get it nice and smooth a way that you guys could tell if a certain spot needs more acrylic or anything like that is if you're filing and you're going in a whole bunch of different motions and you feel like there's a spot that your file is not getting and there's no scratch marks across it it means that there is actually a dip in the nail if you were to look at it from the side or different angles you will be able to see it but dead on looking at it exactly like how i am looking at it it's hard to tell 
something that I recommend if you are a beginner nail tech is actually run your finger across the top of the nail and you guys will be able to fill it if there is any lumps and bumps in the nail. That is something that I would actually do after I was done filing is I would go across every single nail and just run my finger across it. Oh, you guys and I ended up just getting tired of the tip falling out on this one so I was like you know what let me just go ahead and hand file it and just shape it to the way I need to and move on. Now that I'm done shaping, I'm going to go, or not <laughs> the full shaping, I have to go in with my e-file. I am using the PR Sky one, and I do recommend putting your drill, belt, drill bit out like, like the way it is in the video because that helps you be able to get close into the cuticle area. If you guys have it really, really short, what will end up happening is that the, the hand piece will actually bump into the nail. So this kind of allows you to lay your your e-file a little bit more flat without having to work around your e-file. So I think learning that when I'm doing my long nails, putting it out this much, it does seem like it's a lot. Like I feel like for a short client, I would never do this. But if they have long nails like this, I definitely, definitely, definitely will end up going in and using my e-file like this. And usually this is the way I still make cuticles. Sometimes if I feel like it is, this isn't doing it for me, I will go in with a metal sanding band. But that is something that I would recommend for somebody who's more comfortable with the e-file. Just because you don't want to end up cutting your plane all up. I feel like the Arbor sanding bands, you won't cut them unless you're being super, super heavy handed and rough. So if you are using these and you find yourself cutting people a lot, maybe try out using the fine sanding bands and softening the edges with a file. I've seen people do that and so they don't end up cutting their clients. I like to really get into the cuticle and I don't see that I haven't had the issue of cutting my clients. So it's just all practice you guys. I wasn't this good with the file at the very beginning. It took time to be able to get where I'm at. Honestly, when I first started doing nails, I hand filed everything. I didn't even have an e-file probably for like the first three to six months of me doing nails. I would just hand file in, in beauty school. That's what our teacher would teach us is if you lay down your acrylic nice enough, you won't need an e-file. But me personally, being doing nails for around seven years, I definitely recommend getting an e-file and getting comfortable with it just because you are going to be able to get into areas that you wouldn't with an with a actual nail file. And you don't end up having to strain your wrist so much. So this allows it to be a lot easier on your wrist than if you are using a hand file. Hand files, I do feel like I loved using them at the beginning because I was so scared of using an e-file. But honestly, once I got the hang of an e-file, it made me quicker, it made me faster. Um, but then again, I do only use it for the really end of my service to detail around the cuticle. I know some people that they'll actually use the e-file for the whole entire set, which is props to them. Um, I think a class that I do want to take is an e-file class, so if you guys know of any good ones, please be sure to tag me because a lot of the classes that I come across, a lot of them, they are just beginner nail tech ones, and I just really want to be able to figure out how I could incorporate my drill through the whole entire service without having to use an, um, an actual file. I feel like that would be great because I see girls that will end up, girls and guys that they will end up filing the whole entire nail where they shape the sides and even um, nails are not polished Theo, she uses the whole file I feel like for the whole entire service I feel like um, from the videos that I watch if I can remember correctly. And then 
I am just gonna go ahead and buff away on these and the grit that I recommend for buffing away and making it super smooth is a 180 grit this really helps take out all of those scratches honestly you guys if you guys wanted to stop here I wouldn't be mad at you because I feel like right here I feel like it looks so beautiful and even though I was kind of worried because these tips almost look are like doing the foil on them it looked a little bit too more on the clear side but I love the effect that it gave you guys will see at the very end of the video I did end up inserting some pictures of where I took it in front of the sun and oh my gosh you guys you guys are gonna love it <laughs> and right here I did want to leave this clip in because a lot of times a lot of people wonder how I end up having so much time to do TikToks, Reels, um, everything. So usually what I'll do is I end up taking pictures and videos while I'm working on sets and posting them just because I know not all of my viewers that are on YouTube, not all of them are not all of them follow me on YouTube, so I do have my TikTok where I do post some stuff on there and my Instagram, but usually it's just mini tutorials that I'll post on there. Now I'm going in with Koopa Matte Top Coat. You guys already know if you guys have been following me for a while. This is my holy grail. I love, 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 love this top coat. Definitely, if you guys haven't tried it, try it out. Again, everything will be linked down in the description below if there is anything that you would like to get your hands on. If I was not able to if I was not able to um, link everything down below, just because I know Montage, sometimes they have the stuff on their site and sometimes they don't, but you guys can actually reach out to them and ask them if you guys could purchase certain things that maybe you, you see in my video. And I'm sure they'll be happy enough to help you. They are a family owned business and they are super, super sweet people. But I know if you ask them to add certain things to the site, they will. So I've asked them before in the past, especially if I needed to order certain things. Alright you guys, and I did want to take a video of this to show you guys um, what it looked glossy before I matted it out. And then now I'm getting my Kiara Sky Lamp. And I'm just going to go ahead and put this on for 30 seconds. Sometimes if you feel like with the Kuka Matte Top Coat, if you feel like it's not matte enough, just pop it into the light for another 30 seconds and it will be super, super matte. Now I'm just going to get white from Colorland Gels. This, these paints are bomb, you guys. You guys will see that you guys don't have to go in with more than one coat of it. I decided I wanted to do a bandana print on this set. So I'm just going to go ahead and let you guys watch because all it is is making little teardrop things and doing the dots around it. You don't really have to make sure your design is perfect when doing this because the dots will help mask any of the imperfections on the lines you created. white and I'm just going to go over it and while my paint is wet add it on there and then I'm going to cure after each one just because I have a bad habit of accidentally hitting the other nails while I'm working on other nails just because I flip my hands a lot of different ways so I recommend curing it in between each time you finish your design. I know it might take a little bit longer, but what I usually do on clients is work on one hand, cure that finger, then move on to another finger on the other hand, and then keep on doing that until the design is done. 
and I did that because this was a lot of work if I ended up messing that up doing those dots and everything over would be a ton a ton of work the rest off camera and this is what they look like you guys they came out so beautiful i really really enjoyed creating this set for you guys if you guys get any inspo at all from this set please be sure to tag me and i'll feature you on my instagram but as always please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to my channel and as always i'll be back with more videos bye